Good evening, boys and ghouls. Welcome back to Make a Model Monday. I'm James, and this is a very special Halloween episode of Make a Model Monday. I recently took part in a live stream dedicated to Halloween prints, and I showcased one that I think deserves a little more attention, so I decided I'd show it to you guys as well. I'm going to go ahead and link the live stream up here. It's a few hours long, but it's worth a listen. There's a lot of cool topics covered and a lot of cool models covered. One of the cool things about 3D printing is being able to hide things where you wouldn't ordinarily see them. Because you can build an object from the ground up, you can put things inside them without having to worry about how you're going to get them there. This pumpkin here looks just like an ordinary pumpkin. It's pretty cool looking and it's printed in orange PLA from spool.ca, that's S-P-O-L-3-D.ca. It was printed at 0.2 millimeter layer heights on my printer bought Simple Metal. But the cool thing is, it has a hidden secret. If we go ahead and rotate it around, we see it actually has a hidden jack-o'-lantern face. Because we built this from the ground up, the layers get thinner in the front to create the face. Then all you have to do is put a light in front of it, and away you go. And with a tea light that flickers, it really does create a nice effect. The glowing face is even more impressive in person. The effect is much better, and it comes through a lot better than on the camera. But even on the camera, you guys can see how cool it is. I think the only change I would have made is switching to green for the stem, because it would have looked a lot nicer if there was color separation for it. Otherwise, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I hadn't fired up the simple in oh, probably two months, and uh, it went ahead and printed this first shot without any problem. While the printer bot Simple was busy turning out the pumpkin, I went ahead and printed this on the CR10. Now this is a pretty cool looking skull, it kind of looks like a sugar skull. The added bonus with this one is that if you put it in a dark room and put a light in it, it casts out all sorts of lights and shadows onto the wall and it creates a really nice effect. And of course if you ever need to combine the two, well the skeleton doesn't mind wearing a hat. Well, if you guys have any Halloween prints you'd like me to cover in the future, toss them in the comments below. I'm always looking for cool decorations. As always, the links for these are in the description below, so you can print off your own. And if you do, let me know. I'd love to take a look at them. If you have an idea for a future Make a Model Monday, toss it in the comments. If you're new here, subscribe and click the bell so you're notified when I put out new content. If you have any questions or comments about the prints that I've done, then go ahead and toss it in the comments below. And until next time, stay spooky and creative.